skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Welcome to my newly naked background. That's gonna change. Anyway, today's video is two months in the making and I'll do a little bit of explaining before we get to it. Back in June, I was helping a very good friend of mine look for a wedding dress for her wedding in September. And I was having a lot of fun with it because we were looking for it online, which to me is crazy because 15 years ago, when I purchased my wedding dress, it was a process of going from store to store, trying dresses on, getting fittings, and ultimately making the purchase behind a counter. Aside from the traditional wedding dress websites, we stumbled upon a couple of dresses on eBay, on even Alibaba, and on Wish. Now, she was not interested in purchasing them on these websites, but I was. I was so curious to see what a wedding dress from one of those websites would be like. I was so surprised at some of the prices of these dresses, so I wanted to try to purchase a wedding dress on Wish and see what it was like. So that was two months ago, and I just received the dress. Good thing I wasn't in a hurry. But I did do a screen recording of my search for the dress on Wish, and I'm going to show you guys that right now. All right, we've got some fun stuff right here. I may have to do a clothing haul. Ooh, that's cute. Except mine doesn't look like that. Anyway, let's get to the wedding dresses. And here we are. Okay. Let's look at a $217 wedding dress. Pretty, not my style, and more than I wanna spend. Okay, bye. Look, $21. Let's see if the price changes. Nope. Reviews, ratings, there we go. Lovely, I also ordered another dress and for this one twice. Okay, so it looks like they have good reviews on this one, but um, I don't know, I'm thinking it looks cheapy. But uh, yeah, of course it does, it's $21. Okay, let's see, I think these two are the same, no? Let's check it out. Whoa, okay, bye. Oh, well, that's pretty, that looks nice. $40, regularly 67. To me, what it usually sells for, or what the retail price is, is what gets me. Um, yeah, no. Oh, here's one for $28, and it is regularly $830. That is quite a savings. It's poofy. I don't love it. Well, let's see. That. That's not bad. But this is what gets me. Is it really an $830 dress? Let's go down here. Ratings. I don't know what that says, but they said thank you, and they said perfect. This is all in Spanish. Oh, French, it's perfect. Mm, came quickly, just on time. Looks like it's good, that's good. It was beautiful, I love it. Okay, I'm very pleased with the dress. That is good enough for me. I say we purchase this one. Let's go to the size. I am thinking this is gonna run small because it is likely from China. Let's take a look. Choose US size available. You will receive label Asian size. See? All right, well, I'm gonna order a medium because I am a medium gal. White. Bye. Ooh, <gasps> you guys, I saved $802. That is excellent. It's like free money. Let's go to the cart. Okay, so $28. Shipping is $12. That is not bad. I am getting an $830 dress for $40. That means I saved $790. Okay, I like PayPal, so let's go. So that took about five minutes for me to pick out that dress. And as I said in the video, I don't know what it is, but when something has a very high price and it comes down to this very small sale price, I don't know, I get hooked. But I was very curious to see if this $28 dress was indeed comparable to a dress that was $830. No, we already know that's not gonna happen, but let's just see what the dress is like. I have taken the outer packaging off, but not the inside, and this is what we get so far. So we're gonna try this on, but first I'm gonna show it to you and we're gonna compare the pictures on the website to the actual dress itself. Can you see me? Sure you can. You don't really need to see my head. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's start with the top of the dress. There are some loose strings, but there's the top. 
Okay, let's do that side-by-side -side comparison. A little floppy on the top, but that will be against the body. And it's got some silver threading, a little bit of beading, and what looks like lace, but it's not. It's embroidery. But it's not, it's not horrible. Want a close-up? See? It also has a booby pad. There's each one of those. I believe the picture had a lace-up back. I do, and this does not. Maybe we should do side-by-sides when it's on me because it's on that lady. Let's unzip it, get it ready for try-on. There's, there's two zippers. Maybe the first zipper is where you really suck it in so that the second zipper is easier. All right, so let's try this bad boy on right now. I'm gonna make some wedding hair. Okay. So here we go. Excuse me. Okay, so we're clipping that thingy in the back. There, done. All right, zipper time. I have to get that innermost zipper. Okay, one zipper. reach that and there is no one here to help me <laughs> anyway okay that's as far as we're going and it's very hard to breathe not very I could handle it for a day <sighs> yeah breathing's tough breathing is tough these look big there's pads in there but I'm not wearing any sort of brassiere as you I'm sure noticed not bad as we said before in the picture there was lacing in the back and that is clearly missing from here. In the picture, she's got to have a petticoat on because this is not as poofy. Hers was out like that. Yeah, it's really hard to breathe. Not many brides breathe on their wedding day. We got this part. I'm going to stand for a close-up of that. Not bad. And I'm going to just lift this part. So here on the bottom is some pleating of the tool, but nothing under this part up my pants. The nice part about it ending right here is that I can let this all hang loose, my tummy. Here, not so much. Let's talk about size. I purchased a medium and I am normally a size six. There is ample room in the booby area and that's better than not enough room. This tough to breathe this great. It feels a little bit itchy and that's probably because it isn't completely lined or nicely lined like a regular wedding dress would be. And I haven't yet mentioned the smell of the dress. It smells very chemically. I could smell it the moment that I opened the bag. I thought I would skip over that when opening it because I figured that that smell will dissipate, but it definitely smells like something that came from China. You know what I mean? Anyway, back. Front, side, side. I gotta put my shirt back on. Okay, let's take this off. All right, so as I was taking this off, I did notice I was a little sweaty underneath. And that could either be because it's tight or because of the fabric. It's definitely not a natural fabric. I don't know how many wedding dresses actually are. So let's talk about the dress. It's pretty good. For $28, I think it's a steal. It's made well. I would say it would fit a four or a six. I am a six, and although it was tight around the bodice, it wasn't crippling or anything. I could survive a day of it. Ample room in the boobies, but you could have that taken in. Is it worth the $830 that they claimed was the original price? Absolutely not, no. Is it worth $28? Well, sure, can you imagine? spending $28 on your wedding dress and maybe a little extra for fitting and a petticoat. You're done. That's absolutely fantastic. You guys, if nobody comes really close to the bride, they'll never see how cheap it is. And you know what else? I don't want this anymore. I don't need it. So if any of you guys want this dress, put it in the comments down below why you want it, what city you're in, and what you're gonna do with it. Are you getting married or are you gonna sit on the couch with a beer? Because either one is perfectly fine with me. So that's it, you guys. That is it on this video of the wedding dress that I bought on Wish for $28. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I know that I did. I learned that 
cheap wedding dresses are cool. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Bye, you guys.